The purpose of the temporal radius is to define the time window we'll use as a sample to average the amplitudes. The current value we'll define a 0.1 second window at the current time for averaging the amplitudes. Let's play the animation to see the result. So the generator input a value resulting from the average of the amplitudes at the current time over this window. If we set it to 3 seconds, the motion will be smoothed out, averaging much more amplitude over time. Any tiny variations will be buried in this average, overshadowed by larger amplitudes. If we reduce this value, for example, to 0.01 seconds, or one hundredth of a second, will capture a much smaller time window which will produce perfectly synchronized animations. For audio that's not oversaturated, the generator's output values range between 0 and 1, 0 representing silence and 1 representing the maximum audio signal permitted. At the beginning of the animation, the input value is 0 0.31. The multiplier parameter allows us to multiply this value even before inputting it into the parameter. Let's see the difference. The input scale values are much larger. In this video, we went over how to alter the temporal radius to smooth out an animation and multiply the output value before applying it.